Okay, you guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to draw open and closed doors. So first, we're going to be starting with the open door because that's going to be using technique two. Um, and for this example, the open door is actually going to be like an open garage door. So it's going to be slightly larger because it is going to be a little bit larger in width. We're going to go ahead and we're going to draw it over here. And I'm also going to draw an opening over here. Um, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to tackle this front side. We're still using the same technique, all right? So if we're drawing a opening for a garage, then we're going to go ahead and I'm going to say that I'm going to make it about an inch. Okay. We're starting off with a rectangle. And I'm going to go ahead and over here, about there. Okay, so we have our rectangle. From here, we should have our rays. So we have our rectangle. The rays are always from corner to vanishing point. And I'm drawing them very lightly because we are going to eventually erase them. Okay. So now we're drawing basically a rectangular prism within a cube, all right? From here, we're gonna go ahead and we are going to draw one vertical line, okay? Over here, I'm gonna draw it over here first. So I'm gonna say that this is the vertical line. After the vertical line, it's the horizontal line. Let me get a little bit closer. Horizontal line is always going to be right here. After the first horizontal line, then we have another vertical. So this is where we're going to draw that one. Okay, let's see. It's looking a little bit uneven. It could be that I moved my ruler a bit. Okay, and then we have one last horizontal line. So that's what it kind of looks like. If you're wondering whether this is correct, it technically is, right? Because this side here is closer to the vanishing point than this one is, so we see a little less of it. And this side here is closer to the horizon line, so it's getting flatter while this is still a little bit more in width. Okay, and since this is now going to be a garage port, we're going to go ahead and erase these lines, these interior lines there. This is. And essentially, we've just carved inside the wall of this building. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to erase this because this is within, this is inside of the wall. We shouldn't be able to see that. So that's within the wall. We should be able to see this edge right here because it's within, right? Um, an interior space. We don't need that portion. We do need the side of the wall. And then I'm just going to go in and clean up this line. Okay. And so now if you were driving a little car, right, you should be able to kind of get right in there. All right. Let's say you were drawing like a carport or an open door on or an opened area, right, on the side of the building. When you are drawing on the side of the building, what you're going to do is you're always going to just start with two vertical lines. Because essentially the front face is over here. So this is the front face. And right here what we're seeing is the side. 
we know this is correct because guess what right here is the ray and so if this is true that means that there is another parallel line there and if this is connected there then that means there's a parallel line here or a ray there's another ray over here and so now we have our rectangle we have our rays this is our vertical we need our horizontal our other vertical and our other horizontal but majority of this is within the wall we wouldn't see it so when we're looking at it we would erase this and this and this and we wouldn't see the front face at all and this is all we would see we could even erase that we could even erase this portion to show that this is an entrance right same thing over here we could erase this to show that this is an entrance so that's how you would draw those open doors okay we're going to go ahead and draw some windows that are open um, and we're going to tackle that over here all right